what I had to do was, you know, be a good entrepreneur and spend money on ads and then see if it worked. And if I had run those four or five different ads, so you have like dentistry, you got four or five different sub products, right? If I had done that and nobody said, okay, I'm interested, I would have gone back to my research and had an existential crisis of like, am I good enough for all this? But I didn't because it worked. And if I, looking back now, I probably just changed industries and just said, all right, I'm going to do carpet cleaning. Hey, carpet cleaners, do you want more residential long-term contracts starting here? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, commercial deals, industrial. That's it. Yeah. And then but there is a real magic to what you're talking advertise. about. And I wrote about this in version 2.0 in my book, which is you're selling outcomes. And I find if you, if you look at like 99 out of a hundred agencies, they're selling deliverables like we do SEO and they don't really care about the SEO. They just want the implant person from the SEO to come in the door. And so I think, you know, yep. you, you just, you have a ways of, of, you know, making the complex really simple. Yeah. I found that when we don't know what we're doing, we lean into the complexity of the situation and what we need to do, start doing as a whole, either as an industry or as a person or a culture, like when I don't know what's going on, I should lean into the simple. Like there has to be a simple way of getting this shit done. Yeah. Not a complicated way. Don't add to it. When there's too much stuff, you should be taking away. Like yeah. what do we need less of? And and that was frustrating because I came from a world where, you know, I wanted a bad men style agency that had like all these people running around. You had a copywriter, junior copywriter, associate that copywriter. Seems cool, right? To have this big team. Right. You're like, oh, I'm wearing a suit. Oh my yeah. god, it fucking <laughs> sucks. Okay, um, and my agency's version of that was having a CSM and check-in calls and did you check with your client, all that. And I was like, man, I do not want to have to. If I was on the receiving end of that, I would not pick up that person's phone. I don't care that they're checking in. It's just more spam on my phone. I didn't yeah. want to be on the receiving end of that because I have been. I was like, I fucking hate that shit. I just wanted something that was stupid, simple that would really, really work, and I don't have to spend a lot of time. I just want to pick up the phone. I was like, all right, I'm going to build that. And it's really, really hard to do that when you're trying to add stuff and value stack and value add. Instead, I was like, I'm just going to be, this is what you bought and this is what you want. And it's a competitive price. And that's it. End of discussion. Very like Amazon. Like I just bought that. That's all I want. And the philosophy was how do we get it to two day shipping? But we got it down to 30 minutes to build everything up from scratch. Um, so I, I think. I think the original question that people are going to be asking themselves is what industry or what niche do I go into? And one way of answering that is go talk to your friends or friends of friends and say, Hey, I'm learning how to do ads. Can I do a couple for you? And they'll say, sure. And you draw some ads on Facebook and use Canva or whatever. Hey, do you want to try this? Cool. Let's see if it works on the internet. You got a hundred bucks. Maybe you'll make some money. And then you just run it. And now you have a client either paying you money in terms of paying you either money or in terms of video testimonials. Yeah. Or you just start advertising for a client. And, and you didn't learn on their dime. Correct. Yeah. And I, I did a video on like, if I was starting up from scratch all over again, I would, I would pick one of these three. I would pick online advertising, selling or copywriting by the top 10 books in that chosen niche or industry or vertical or whatever it is. So like top 10 copywriting books, top 10, online advertising books, top 10 selling books, read them all like the Bible, and then start sending text messages out saying, hey, I just read the top 10 books on selling. I think you can do some fun stuff for you and help you make more money or you're interested for a five minute chat. And everybody's going to say yes to that shit. And then you get them on the phone, you have a client.